And here we have an example of a sigma sp bond. That means a sigma bond between an s orbital and a p orbital. And a good example for that would be HCl hydrochloric acid. Hydrogen has a single valence electron in its 1s orbital. Chlorine has seven valence electrons, two in its 3s orbital, and five more in its 3p orbitals. And it's always a good idea to draw that out like this. So this would be the hydrogen. Here would be the chlorine. Of course, we're ignoring the, the uh, second energy level and the first energy level electrons. Uh, those are not valence electrons. We're only going to be concerned about the valence electron in the third energy level for chlorine. Notice that there is one vacancy here in the 1s orbital for hydrogen. There is one vacancy in the 3p orbital for chlorine, and so they can then form a bond. They can share those two electrons in a bonding mechanism. The way that's done is one of the 3p orbitals with only one electron, and the s orbital for hydrogen with only one electron will come together, overlap, have a region there where the two electrons can exist in an in-phase condition where they join then and form a negative a negatively charged region which will then attract the positive nucleus of chlorine and the positive nucleus of the hydrogen forming a bond like that. So again, draw this out, look for the vacancies and that will then give you an indication that where the bonding can take place. And obviously we're bonding an S orbital to a P orbital. This is the 3P orbital right here. And so this is therefore called the sigma SP bond or the sigma uh, that would be uh, the S orbital and p orbital bond. And that's how you do that.